is when divinity steps into humanity and causes ordinary men and ordinary women to do extraordinary things. Father, we remember and commemorate the death and the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Oh, Shalabaka dos Kalagadesh. We identify with the saving and atonic work of our Lord. Shabaka doska. We partake of the Lord's table. Oh, in unity with Christ. Rizo Magadeshka. And as they were eating, Jesus took the bread, blessed it and broke it. And gave it to the disciples and said, take it, this is my body. Shall we partake of the bread together? Verse 27. Then he took the cup and gave thanks. And gave it to them saying, drink from it all of you. For this is my blood of the new covenant. Which was shed for many for the remission of sin. Shall we all partake of the wine together? I will ask mom to come and pray. Open your mouth and speak to God and tell the Lord, the Lord that Jesus died on the cross because of you and me. Open your mouth and tell the Lord the blood of Jesus to speak on your behalf, to speak on behalf of your family, to speak on behalf of your situations. Open your mouth and speak to God tonight. The Bible says weeping may endure for a night. But joy comes in the morning. Father, take your people out of dungeons. Take them out of the pit, O oh Lord. Take them out of situation, King of glory. Heal their bodies, King of glory. There are those who have incurable diseases. Let your blood cleanse them, Lord. Jehovah God, I thank you, King of kings. Because there is nothing that is impossible with you. There are situations that seem impossible in the lives of your people. Touch them tonight, Lord. Jehovah God, bring them out of the fires. Bring them out of the fiery furnace, O oh God. Fires of life. Fires of poverty. Fires of joblessness. Fires of frustration. Fires of disappointments. Fires of rejection. Fires of intimidation. Fires, O oh God. Rima shalala la masia. O rima mama seteria baba babo siaraba. Let your people come out of the mess that they are in, Lord. Let them come out of pain. Let them come out of pain, Lord. Let them come out of distress. Take them to their miracles. Let them walk to their destiny. Father, we cannot rewrite our past. But we can take a fresh page, O oh God, and write about our future. Our future is bright. Our children's future is bright. Our careers are bright, oh God. Oh, shalalalabasia. Our ministries are bright. Have your way, Lord. Protect us from tragedies and calamities. Delete our names from the book of shame. From the book of defeat and failure. Father, let not our enemies triumph over us. We need your touch tonight. Touch that woman that is crying tonight. Touch that lady, Jehovah, that has come to the end of herself. Jehovah, touch that oven, Lord, that has no one to take care of him or her, Jehovah. Make a way for us, O oh God. Turn our situations around. Our case is urgent. We need your deliverance. We need your blessings. We need your breakthrough. We need your favor. We need your touch. We need your anointing. Come in through for us, oh God. It's all about you. As we walk out of that door because of your blood, let us come out victoriously. Because it's all about you in our lives. We cannot make it in this life without you. We are nothing without you, oh God. Thank you, Jehovah. Even those that are not saved, Lord. Lord, you will touch their lives tonight. By the end of this year, because of your blood, we shall testify the doings of the Lord. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Father, we thank you for the gift of your son. And I pray that anyone that is sick in our midst right now, even as you are partaking of the Lord's table, right now receive your healing in the name of Jesus. If you're there and you are sick, just as you are seated, begin to receive your healing right now. I speak health in the name of Jesus. Even if you have loved ones that are sick at home, and even if you're watching me and you are sick in your body, I command the spirit of infirmity to lose its hold over your life. Life. every spirit of affliction every spirit of discomfort I command it dry up in the name of Jesus I speak healing to your body organs to your systems to your glands I speak health and healing in the name of Jesus I declare your mind is healed I declare God is healing you emotionally psychologically in the name of Jesus I see divine healing right now somebody is, is getting healed of hypertension Somebody is getting healed of chronic chest pains. My God. Insomnia. Ragadoshka. Souls. I command healing of that throat condition. That stiff neck. My God. Those fibroids. I command them to dissolve. The blood clots. Asthma. Bronchitis. I declare right now be healed. Nausea. In the name of Jesus. Arthritis. Joint pain. Hormonal imbalance. I declare be healed right now. I declare by the reason of the stripes of Jesus. And in the name of Yeshua. Supernatural victory over sickness and disease. I declare from today you are healthy. In the name of Jesus, I break the curse within your bloodline of diabetes, high blood pressure, mental insanity. In the name of Jesus, Jehovah Rapha, the Lord our healer, touch your people now. Those that are watching us on live Facebook, on YouTube, on Oracle One TV, I declare be healed distance is not a barrier and if you left anyone sick at home right now I'm sending the healing power of God wherever they are. I send the touch of God in the name of Jesus. Be healed in Jesus mighty name. Shout Amen. 1 Corinthians chapter 15 and verse 10 But by the grace of God I am what I am. And his grace towards me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I. But the grace of God which was with me. When I started this series, I began speaking on when grace speaks. The grace of God. 1 Corinthians 15.10 By the grace of God, I am who I am. By the grace of God, I am what I am. Everything that we are is by the grace of God. Everything that this ministry has done and will do is by the grace of God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says in Titus chapter 2 and verse 11. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men. Ah, grace is about to appear. Grace is about to manifest. My God. And uh, finally, I want to read Ephesians chapter 2 verse 8 to verse 9. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God, not the works, lest you should, lest anyone should boast. Father, as you're lifting your hand, Father, I thank you. By divine authority, I break the limits and restrictions in the lives of your people because of the grace. I break the chains and the yoke. I take authority over every principality and demon spirit, every wickedness in high places. In the name of Jesus, I bind the spirit of anxiety, the spirit of oppression, the spirit of depression, every spirit of weariness, every spirit of doubt, every spirit of stress, every spirit of bitterness, every spirit of failure. I cast it out in the name of Jesus. I come against the spirit behind anxiety, behind failure in the name of Jesus. Razo Magadeshka, Likadoska, you and your family will be delivered tonight in the name of Jesus. Rizo Kadeshka Magadoska, Shahande Bazoya Kadoshka Lagados. I declare you will prosper. You are more than a conqueror. I decree and declare I release the grace of God over you, 
over your children. I release the blessing of God. You will not weep. You will not cry. Father, bless your people. I declare you are blessed. I speak within your walls the shalom of God. Everything will work for you this week without struggle. This week your ears will hear good news. No evil news will come to your ears. You will see opportunities in adversity. In the name of Jesus. Where others will be stranded this week. You will know what to do. In the name of Jesus. Doors will continue to open for you this week. And the plan of the wicked against your advancement. I declare it shall fail in the name of Jesus. Raze Magadeshka. I cover you with the grace of God. I hide your family under the canopy of God's grace. No member of your family shall be a victim of accident or calamity. In the name of Jesus. All arrows of the wicked against your family shall be broken in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare this is your season. You shall not suffer setback by the grace of God. In Jesus mighty name. Shout amen. amen. I started on speaking about when grace speaks. And I said grace is divine enablement. Grace is God helping you in the race of life. Grace is when divinity steps into humanity and causes ordinary men and ordinary women to do extraordinary things. That is why the Apostle Paul said I am who I am by the grace of God. I want somebody to know as ordinary as you are, you can do the extraordinary by the grace of God. Hallelujah. So the grace of God is divine enablement. God helping you in the race of life. It is the unmerited goodness of God. The undeserved goodness of God. What you did not work for. What you did not qualify for. I love the grace of God. Because when grace is at work, protocols are suspended. When grace is at work, you know I have seen people I rely everything in my life on the grace of God. Because even skills cannot produce without the grace of God. Ah, giftings cannot deliver without the grace of God. I told you the other day I have seen gifted people that are not celebrated. They are stranded because of lack of grace. But I am standing on this altar of miracle Monday to declare to everyone that is under the sound of my voice and to the thousands that are watching us live. Ah, receive the grace of God. You will not run the race of life alone. Grace can take you where you're hustling cannot take you. I know you are saying but I am a hustler but I need you to know grace will take you where a hustling cannot take you. Grace will take you where your academic qualifications cannot take you. Grace will take you where connections cannot take you. When grace is at work, oh my God. Hey, touch your neighbor, tell them receive the grace, receive the grace, receive the grace, receive the grace. If you are in ministry right now, receive grace for ministry in the name of Jesus. If you are in ministry, receive grace for ministry. That way where others are rejected, you shall be accepted. Where others are tolerated, you shall be celebrated. Where others are condemned, you shall be commended. Receive grace in the name of Jesus. If you are in business, receive grace for business. Receive grace for business. Let grace distinguish your business from others in the name of Jesus. Ah, if you are here and you are employed, receive grace for the marketplace. Receive grace for the corporate world. In the name name of Jesus. It takes grace to prosper. It takes grace to excel in life. It takes grace to make it in life. Receive grace in the name of Jesus. If you are here and you are married, receive grace for a flourishing marriage. Your marriage will not be an endurance. Your marriage will be an enjoyment. Your marriage will not be a frustration. Your marriage will be a fulfillment. And if you are here and you are single, receive grace for settlement. It takes grace to settle. Receive grace for marriage. And I declare because of grace, you will not marry a prayer point. You will marry a prayer partner. Hey, hey tell your neighbor, 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 when you marry the wrong man or the wrong woman, you marry a prayer point. But because of grace, you will marry the right man. 
you will marry the right woman you will marry a prayer partner and not a prayer point hey. between now and next year this time I see weddings weddings I see marriages receive in the name of Jesus I release grace for marriages over the miracle man the family whether you are 21 31 41 51 61 Isaiah 34 16 says not one will miss their mate for my mouth has commanded and the spirit of the Lord has gathered them together that means there is somebody for everybody when grace is at work it doesn't matter the age I command the man to manifest I command the woman to manifest receive grace for marriage in the name of Jesus hey, I also release grace for divine health I declare between now and the end of the year you will not waste your resources on medical bills I declare grace to enjoy divine health what is killing others will not kill you and your family I declare grace will exempt you in the name of Jesus somebody shout grace. grace I love the grace of God because we are saved by grace we are preaching by grace we are going to heaven by grace I love the grace of God the divine enablement of God oh, the power of God at work at, as you are journeying in the rest of life receive divine empowerment receive divine enablement in every area of your life receive grace in the name of Jesus now what are the benefits of grace number one Ephesians 2 8 for by grace you have been saved through faith and not of yourselves it is the gift of God number one you are saved by grace somebody say I am saved by grace it is not by works it is by grace we are saved by grace that is the first benefit of grace lift your hand and say I am saved by grace Hey, I am saved by grace. What is the second benefit of grace? Romans chapter 3 and verse 24. Being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Number two, I am secure by grace. Tell your neighbor, I am secure by grace. Somebody say, I am secure by grace. Let every devil in hell hear it and let the heavens witness. I am secure by grace. Number three, let's see. Second Chronicles chapter nine and verse eight. Second Chronicles chapter nine and verse eight. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you. That you always having all sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. Number three, I am strengthened by grace. Turn to your neighbor, tell them, I am strengthened by grace. Strengthened by grace. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16 says, Let us therefore come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. I am supplied by grace. Tell your neighbor, I am supplied by grace. I am supplied. Ah, come on, look at your neighbor, tell them, it is the grace, it is the grace. When you see me looking the way I'm looking, it is the grace. Ah, guzam tu mwamia ni neema. Sina kitu cha kujivunia ni neema tu. I am supplied by grace. Shaka doska magadeshka. Ephesians chapter 3 verse 7 and verse 8. Hallelujah. Of which I became a minister according to the gift of the grace of God given to me by the effective working of his power uh-huh to me who i am less than the east of all the saints this grace was given that i should preach among the gentiles the unsearchable riches of christ i am somebody by grace in other words he was saying i am a nobody that grace made somebody uh, look at your neighbor say neighbor i am I'm, i am just a nobody that grace made as somebody. Grace brings honor into somebody's life.
Oh my God. Where academic credentials and qualifications could not take me. I have seen grace take me. Hallelujah. The grace of God. Where uh, family backgrounds cannot take you. Grace will take you. Where money cannot take you. Grace will take you. Grace is your ticket. Razo Magadeshka. Let grace make you a somebody. In the corporate world. In the business world. May your name be mentioned among the great because of grace. As they talk of great men and women. May your name be mentioned because of grace. Grace qualifies you where you are disqualified. Shama Kadoska. Let grace qualify you for that promotion. Shama Kadoska Magadeshka. I am somebody by grace. And lastly, Ephesians 2.8. For by grace you have been saved through faith. And that not of yourself, it is the gift of God. I am satisfied by the grace. Tell your neighbor, I am satisfied by the grace. So remind your neighbor, say number one, I'm saved by grace. I'm secure by grace. I am strengthened by grace. I am supplied by grace. I am somebody by grace. I am satisfied by grace. Hallelujah. Lift your hands above your head. Shala bakadoske. Shala hande bazoya. Likodosh kamagadeske. Oh, Jesus, we give you praise. Thank you for your grace. Just begin to tell God, thank you. Raze kadeshka. Hey, Jesus, we thank you. Rizo kadoshka. Thank you for your grace. Yarabazo magadoshka. By the grace of God, things are turning around for your good. You are protected in your going out and in your coming in. None of your steps will slide. Because of the grace of God. The grace of God. The grace of God. The stress in your life is over. The stress in your finances is declared over. Oh my God, every generation of curse in your family is breaking now. Raze Kadoshka, your destiny shall not be delayed. Your destiny shall not be wasted. Your destiny shall not be destroyed. Receive grace. Hey, Shama Kadoshka. Yande ba Zokadosh Kalagades. Zinde ba Shalaba Kades Kamagadosh. Rakados Kamagadesh Kalagades. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Father, we thank you for the gift of grace. Oh, Shalabakadoska. I declare from this miracle Monday, you are breaking forth into new realms of glory. In the name of Jesus, the remaining days of 2018, I speak as God's oracle into your life. Those in this auditorium and those that are following us live. In the remaining days of 2018, Things that eyes have not seen nor ears heard shall become the order of the day in your life in the name of Jesus. In the remaining days of 2018, you shall sing a new song. Oh, Razoma Gadeshka, your family shall be saved by grace. Any of your family members that is not born again, mention their name in 10 seconds. Shalabakadoska. By the grace of God, this shall be a season of spiritual renewal. In the name of Jesus, there shall be no breakdown of peace in your family. Right now, I release supernatural victory over every battle in the name of Jesus. This will be your season of answered prayers. Somebody tell God, thank you for answered prayers. I hear the Lord say every form of crisis in your life, in your family, in your business. Any form of crisis is coming to an end. In the name of Jesus, that battle is coming to an end. A season of supernatural breakthrough. You will not experience setback. Thank you for grace. In Jesus' name, shout amen.
We believe in the power of tithing as a ministry and we appreciate every tither into this ministry. May God increase you. May God prosper you. May God usher you to great heights in the name of Jesus. Somebody say amen. Tithe is the 10% of your income. It is holy and it belongs to the Lord. And I always tell people, everybody pays tithe. The only difference is whether you pay it to God or to the devil. Because if you don't give it to God, the devourer, who and who, you are asking who are devourers, eaters of finances, they will destroy the fruit of your labor. But every time you give your 10%, God releases a blessing on the 90%. And tithing is a command from God. Hallelujah. The m number is on screen. The 0710842121. Send your tithe as you come with your phone as the point of contact. Remember, tithing brings lifting. It brings uh, it brings blessings, protection. Tithing brings uh, uh, a promotion. Your tithing opens the doors. It brings fruitfulness. It rebukes pain. It rebukes tears. It rebukes labor, failure. It rebukes demotion and the devourer. If you are not a tither, your things will be tight. I'm telling you, tithe is the foundation of prosperity because tithe is the connection to the protection of your finances. Hallelujah. So anytime you give your tithe, it honors God as it is in obedience to God's word. When you give your tithe, it makes God a shareholder of whatever you do. When you give your tithe, it attracts the overflowing blessing of God. It brings judgment to the enemy of your prosperity. Your tithe opens the windows of heaven. You are there, you are a tither, you are a partner, or you'd also like to become a partner in this ministry, be able to send your partnership on this number. The gospel is free, but the means of taking it is expensive. <laughs> We have a testimony, an online testimony all the way from Ghana. All the way from Ghana? Yes, ma'am. Uh -huh. All the way from, Mer I mean, all the way from Ghana, from Mary Karimo. She says, mm -hmm. last week, mm -hmm. you were praying over the passports during the closing prayer. Uh -huh. And she believed distance is not a barrier, mama. Mm. And she says, this week, her parents were able to receive their American visa, mama. Oh, my God. All the way from Ghana. When I was praying for the documents last week, hallelujah, I believe she's watching us right now. She believed God for her parents that were going for a, a visa interview. And now she's testifying that the parents got the U.S. visa. Can we give God a clap offering in Jesus' name? Somebody say, I connect. Any country you desire to go, oh, yes. I open that door in the name of Jesus. I, receive. I open international doors for somebody. I, receive. I stamp your passport with American visa, I Australian visa, I Canadian receive. visa, China visa, Shanghai visa, I UK receive. visa. Any nation you desire to go. Hey. I decree and declare as God's oracle. Oh, yes. Receive the grace for nations in the name of I Jesus. Receive. receive the grace for nations in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I receive. I receive. And even those ones that are watching me online, right now you're watching me on Facebook Live, YouTube, or Oracle One TV, and you are trusting God for a visa, or you are living in the diaspora, and your documents are not right. You are an illegal immigrant. Right now I move you from illegal to legal. I declare God. God is settling your documents in the name of Jesus. I cancel your deportation from the altar of miracle Monday in the name of Jesus. Shout, I receive. I receive. We also have another online testimony from Peter Masai. Mm -hmm. Although he came to Miracle Monday just to testify, Mama. Uh huh. Yes. He says. So this is an online testimony, but he came today to testify. Yes, Mama. Uh huh. He says, since April this year, I've been listening to Miracle Monday. On YouTube the Oracle of God prayed for our phones and prophesied that we'll only receive calls of good news mm. and I received a call from my mother who asked me do I have an account because I have a colossal sum of money that I want to deposit in, in your account immediately I said yes and I gave my account number and as from September 2018 I received 900,000 Kenya shillings my God and if that isn't enough he goes on and says in October, he received 980,000, and today he received 1.75 million. Shalabakadoska. Tell your neighbor they are anointing for money. They are anointing for money. Hey, somebody say money cometh. Money cometh. Can I release money into somebody's life? Oh yes. I say, can I release money into somebody's yes, life? Mama. You know the Bible says, believe in the Lord thy God. Oh. And 
I shall be established. Hey. And believe in his prophets and so you shall prosper. Hey. I stand as God's oracle to declare. Oh, yes. Every financial hindrance. Oh, yes. Every financial setback. Oh, yes. Is cancelled in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare your bills will be paid supernaturally. Your debts will be cancelled. Money will come into your hands. From expected and unexpected places. Amen. I declare money cometh. In dollars, in euros, I in see. pounds, in runs. Receive I in the name see. of Jesus. Can I prophesy? Prophesy. In the remaining two months of this year, November what? and December, mm. you will touch money in ways you have never imagined. Yeah. The money that has never been deposited in your bank account. Oh, yes. I declare money will know your name and address. I receive. Anyone that owes you money that has refused with your money. Oh, yes. I deny them peace and rest in the name of Jesus. I receive. I pray for your financial helpers. Oh, yes. Anyone that God has ordained. Oh, yes. To bless you financially. Oh, yes. To give you business capital. Oh, yes. I deny them peace and rest. I receive. I stir the hearts of your helpers. Oh, yes. I deny them peace. I, I deny them rest. Amen. I declare they will bless you. Amen. I say they will call you to bless you. Amen. Anyone that has your money, oh, yes. anyone that has your business opportunity, oh, yes. anyone that has your tender, mm -hmm. your contract, hey. I declare they will look for you in the name of Jesus. See. Where is that gentleman? Is he here? Yes, mommy. So this was a blessing. 900, then 1.7. 900? 980 uh -huh. today 1.7 shika la hey, hey tell your neighbor you are the next come on don't be jealous somebody say i connect listen to me don't act spiritual as long as you've not gone to heaven you need money and the money you have determines the quality of life you live the money you have determines what you eat hey. The money you have determines where you take your children to school. It determines where you live, no matter how spiritual you are. Money is not evil. It is the love of money. Money is the purchasing power. And I release over your life the purchasing power. Receive money to do that business you want to do. Receive money to build the house you want. Receive the money to buy the car you want. Receive in the name of Jesus. Receive in the name of Jesus. Jesus, receive money to accomplish your dreams. Receive money right now in the name of Jesus.